जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पादपद्मे तयो श्रिवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु regarding the suicide and giving up the body after realization the difference and the purpose of human life is discussed in our last class then we saw the four types of jivas the baddha the mumukshu mukta and nitya siddha the four types the bound the trying to realize aspiring for liberation the liberated and the ever perfect but still he lives he believes he is quite happy and secure the one who is baddha the liberated and the seeker of liberation look upon the world as deep well they do not enjoy it therefore after attainment of the knowledge realization of god some give up their bodies but such thing are rare indeed the bound creatures entangled in worldliness will not come to their senses at all they suffer so much misery and agony they face so many dangers yet they will not wake up liberated see even after liberation he is liberated totally from nature but the divine mother who has become the universe and pervading it as nature we are all in nature our nature internal nature and external nature is driving us making us do all activities and everything uh, and i am in the realm of nature that is time and space bound world realm i have to go beyond the struggle is to go beyond the plan also of nature is making me go beyond what all experiences i need good and bad in my life is given in and through according to my own karma in such a way that i evolve now here when we see the after he reaching it he has gone beyond the nature and entered into the realm transcendental ever free nature doesn't have any nature's jurisdiction is over it belongs to the divine realm where it is a ocean of bliss peace and love absolute and if he wants out of his own will he can enter into the again into the universe of time and space bound this maya world and help others play there Uh, unbound because he is not bound by karma anymore he is mukta and go back he has total freedom still divine mother can make him work in the world as saints of realization so very often we see meera tulsi tukaram and all millions came and went unnoticed so many people realized and went away a few were brought into the uh, society to teach mankind one meera came out was brought down many meeras went away same way of life same transcendence same joining the absolute uh, one the divine mother wants at least a few to be here 
to show there is a thing I have seen and this is the result come out to as an example as a uh, path shower somebody has to show the path to the and sh give the first hand information I have seen it is like this I have gone through it is like this this understanding to give uh, they are brought and kept like Vivekananda after attaining the Nirvikalpa Samadhi the highest realization hmm, he asked this Naren tells this Naren that is Vivek, then the Vivekananda see you have got everything now what is to be shown to you has been shown now I will lock this realize your realization and keep the key with me and when you you have to work for the world when your work is over when the mother's work is over I will give back this key back to you means there is a power in spite of my being liberated state to lock that and keep in the world to work for the world and release and go so the therefore after attainment of knowledge the realization some give up their bodies but such a thing is rare indeed as long as the karmas of that bodily existence remain he allows it to he is not affected he has just made a, it a center of his expression he is there everywhere the real with realization of god the bodily identity breaks he expands to the cosmic level to be one with ishvara he is there everywhere and he has made the center to express himself to the world if the uh, that goes off his nothing is gone that also belongs to the nature the bound creatures entangled in the worldly, worldliness will not come to their senses at all because the consciousness is in this consciousness if one seed of divinity is there that one day or the other when all circumstances stand against it will peep out and see what is beyond if that is missing worldliness is so powerful it envelops 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 the knowledge that no light of that knowledge can come out to the mental level or bodily level it remains deep inside hidden so here we see the whole thing is there hidden and this has to be overcome the world is there is no way that they can peep out and understand it is completely kept covered with ignorance the knowledge is within knowledge doesn't come from outside the atma jnana or brahma jnana he is that but the identification with body is reasserted again and again because the object of enjoyments that come the grip on it the clinging to life and grip on it possessions that doesn't allow him to think of an alternative existing just like the scientists and uh, doctors and all they are fed with some information a doctor is made from his uh, schooling begins after the uh, pre university or something like that medical nurse he they go on feeding in such a way the brain grew is cut and when he sees a disease a person he cannot think of an alternative he a preset mind the moment he sees oh this is this disease this is this medicine protocol he doesn't think can there be something else yeah, which i have not learned a new something it can be there can be a new medicine 
taking the suggestion from the patient itself, trying to know his psychology, trying to know what has caused from deep within this disease. Uh, then he alternative, he cannot think because Guru is already formed. Every scientist go enters into the research with preset mind. With preset mind, he gets the same result what is there in his mind. Because truth is beyond all that logic and reasoning. So, these people cannot. will not come to their senses at all. They suffer so much misery and agony. They face so many dangers, yet they will not wake up. Nature gives shocks, shocks after shocks, to turn them to the, towards their divinehood. But they don't. They Many times, I myself feel, when people ask me why there is suffering, I think, why should there be no suffering? When so much of suffering comes to him also, he doesn't want to leave and come away. The person is hugging a burning pillar and he's shouting, it's burning, it's burning, release me, release me. He has to release. All people pulling him also, he is gripping that and shouting. He has to release the grip. Nobody need to help him even. Any moment he can live and retire. He can be himself. What does nature is providing? What all is needed? In every way, no insect, no even small creatures like amoeba and bacteria are fed and taken care by nature. All lives, hmm, on the tip of the hill, you can see the trees. Betta da atu di alli. Kutti ro vraksha ke. Katte ano katti nire re devar yaro. Who has done? Who is feeding? He will feed me also. There won't be dearth. The one who has given this birth, brought this body into this world. He will take care. But the trust, that understanding, that uh, clinging to life, clinging to possessions, clinging to family. Clinging. It is not wrong, provided there, there is sacrifice. It is not out of sacrifice I am holding something. It is to fulfill my desires I am holding. Family I am keeping for myself. I am not there for family. I am keeping the family for myself. I am earning for myself. Whatever I do for morning till night is for myself and not for others. Where there is a sacrifice I am holding, it is a great thing. It is a sadhana, it is a spiritual practice. It elevates the man quickly towards realization. It quickly it may make him manifest his inner divinity. I am clinging to these people to give myself like a patriot sacrificing his life for nation. I am sacrificing for the welfare of others. I am not giving up. I see a suffering man. Whatever I can do, run about here or there, as if an attached, so much attached person does for his uh, person whom he loves. But there is no attachment. There is no this one. Still strive. It is accepted and it is the way. Hmm. The camel loves to eat thorny bushes. The more it eats the thorns, the more blood gushes for out from the mouth. Still, it mu must eat thorny plants and will never give them up. The man of worldly nature 
suffers so much sorrow and affliction, but he forgets it all in a few days and begins his old life over again. Suppose a man has lost his wife or she has turned unfaithful, lo, he marries again. Or take the instance of a mother, her son dies, she suffers bitter grief, but after a few days she forgets all about it. The mother so overwhelmed with sorrow a few days before, now attends, attends to her toilet, puts off her jewellery. A father becomes bankrupt through the marriage of his daughters, yet he goes on having children year after year. People are ruined in litigation, yet they go to the court all the same. They are, there are men who cannot feed their children they have, who cannot clothe them, provide decent shelter for them, yet they have more children every year. What is the status of these people who are in the world, immersed in the world? So, uh, only the thing is, we cannot help. Nature cannot help. God cannot help. At the same time, we can't see and keep quiet also. Wherever you see such people, Wherever you see such situation, what we can do is just pray for their welfare. Oh Lord, give them the right understanding of life. Bring, just like you have helped so many to come out of their predicaments and made them to travel to higher levels of consciousness, higher type of life, living, living a pure devoted life. Without your grace, others who have been doing that would not have done like that. You help these people also, lift them also. This alone makes us live in harmony with this world and raise ourselves to a level that good, bad, right, wrong, irrespective of that, the behavior of the people, you will be able to love, sacrifice. What ex remains at the la last that is even after realization or by doing sadhana in advanced stages also what remains is only love love for this world blessing for this world to this extent because after the realization he finds there were not many there was no difference there was no, it was all play going on. It was all divine, divine play. Ultimately, when it comes to the absolute truth, it is God alone is there. In taking various forms, just like in dream, mind alone is there, which has taken the world, this form of world, multifarious world, and play, play going on. Even the sufferings, joys, and movements, our mind alone, except mind, nothing was there in the dream. So this understanding that, oh, God alone is there and nothing else will be there at last. This is what we see in the life. So the evolution of the jiva to the ultimate perfection, after that, what remains is only love and love alone. So, this dream of this world must go away. It is all God alone. Once you realize and come back, the world that you are seeing, this multifarious world of dualities, sukha, dukha, right, wrong, everything dissolves in one. Just like when you wake up from dream, oh, that was all dream. The one mind was there, it has become mind again. After coming back, it is called Vyuthana from Samadhi. After realizing God, when he comes down, he sees one reality here. Everything is divine. The good is also divine. Bad is also divine. But 
only thing the saint is caught where he is arrested where he the weakest point just like in chain what is the weakest point in a chain the weakest link is the strength of the chain the weakest link will open when you put the weight like that the weakest point in a saint who has realized god is that he withstands all the sufferings himself but is unable to withstand the suffering of others the nature has kept that one ignorance where he is caught and he is bound to the world out of compassion because this compassion belongs to the lord of the universe belongs to the nature nature is only compassionate that in every aspect in every way she is compassionate god is compassionate as long as we are in ignorance and identified with body there is god and nature to take care they are fully participating in our lives and the whole thing how each one suffers in various ways yet holds on to the hmm unreal again the worldly man is like a snake trying to swallow a mole the snake can neither swallow the mole nor give it up the bound soul may have realized that there is no substance in the world that the world is like hog plum only stone and skin but still he cannot give it up and turn his mind to god what a state they are passing through we can understand and see Once I met a relative of Keshav Sen, fifty years old. He was playing cards, as if the time had not yet come for him to think of God. Fifty years, half his life, or more than that, has gone away. Yet the time for calling on God has not come. It never comes because they are dip, they are playing cards. wasting time yet he is not able to realize understand my time is going uh, the sadhaka sees every moment going my every moment of his life is so precious uh, just by wasting one minute in his life he might have lost the realization the realization may be one minute more struggle to think of god he would have realized that one minute that he has wasted may take him to the next birth again and keep it postponing every moment so a sadhaka looks upon his every moment of time as most precious thing and every breath every action he will be offering to the divine you have given me this body you have kept me here i am doing all my duties as an offering to you i don't seek anything whatever was my karma or any reason that you have kept me i am fulfilling i want release now uh, it takes unconditional surrender to god to lift him because he cannot lift himself he cannot release himself from the bonds mm. once he touches and grips god there is no more problem because the lord whom we love we worship we, we get anchored in him once we are anchored in god we can move about in this world any way without any problem without fear without anxiety and be untouched by our own actions ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत् श्री रामकृष्णार्पणमस्तु